still to come. The time now is half past four. 92 to 95 FM, 810 medium wave and on digital. BBC Radio Scotland. News and sport for the Borders with Richard Gordon. Good afternoon. The driver of a bus which crashed into a wall and almost landed in the jet water has been charged with dangerous driving. A full investigation was carried out following the incident in Jebra in October. The bus, operated by local company Peter Hogg, left the road before it hit a wall and then ploughed down an embankment towards the river. There were no injuries, but passengers were left shaken by the events. Police Scotland spokesman confirmed charges have now been brought against the driver and the report submitted to the Procurator Fiscal. A £40 million distillery development near Camp Town, south of Jebra, came a big step closer yesterday when planning committee members unanimously backed the scheme, which developers claim will create 50 jobs. Most modern distillers won't be able to develop the site until the project is approved by Scottish ministers, however, as CEPA are concerned about a potential flooding issue. Local councillor Jim Brown says the benefits of the scheme far outweigh any downsides. As I mentioned at the planning meeting today, that's a double-edged sword. You've got to accept that there will be some negative effects. However, I think the officers and the applicant have got together and put together a, a scheme that will blend in as, as, as well as possible with the local countryside. And at the same time, the positive side, side is that it will uh, supply a great number of jobs and a bit more finance for the, the area generally. Hopefully it's a, a catalyst that will help the A68 generally become a new or a more potent tourist route into Scotland. The Borders is at the forefront of a Scotland-wide effort to reduce the number of stillbirths. Figures released last week saw last year's rate at 5.1 per thousand births for NHS Borders, the highest in Scotland and above the national average. There are fewer this year, so the Borders will be below the national average this time round. Dr Brian McGowan, who heads obstetrics and maternity at Borders General Hospital, says the new measures are for both healthcare staff and mums-to-be. Scotland's taken a very bold initiative and even though they don't understand why stillbirths have happened, in 2014 they said, well let's do something about it, particularly looking at growth, encouraging people to come forward with movements, improving uh, people's interpretation of heartbeat tracing, encouraging people to stop smoking, more work with people with a, a, a higher than average BMI and some training around delivery as well. And whether this will make a difference we're not going to know for a number of years. Tomorrow we'll hear about the advice and support available for mums to be from NHS Borders Head of, Midwif of Midwifery Services, Nicky Benning. A motorbike company in Hoix posted CCTV pictures on Facebook of a raid on their showroom in case anyone recognises the thieves. Shortly after 4am on Friday morning, a man smashed the window of TWS bikes and took three helmets who were heading down the path by the leisure centre. He returned just under an hour and a half later with another man, stole another four helmets, filled the bag with accessories and sprays and ran off at Wilton Hill Terrace. Total hall said to be worth over a thousand pounds. A poignant ceremony will take place at Borders General Hospital this evening, a tree of lights being lit at the chaplaincy centre for the first time. People have already dedicated individual lights in memory of loved ones they've lost in exchange for donations to the health board charity The Difference. The money will pay for improvements to services of patients' facilities. Chaplains will be available after tonight's ceremony, which starts at 7pm, for blessings or support. Support now, bringing us news from the cross-country scene, Lynn Rennie. Gal Harriers claimed gold at the East District Cross-Country Championships. Fiona Dalgleish, Kate Jenkins and Rachel Fagan finished 4th, 5th and 9th respectively to win the Ladies' Masters title at Aberdeen. Fellow Harrier Faisal Khurshid picked up silver in the under-17 men's race, finishing just 13 seconds behind the winner Freddie Carcass of Edinburgh AC. Teammate Callum Tharm finished in 15th, followed by Faisal's brother Yusuf to earn them a bronze medal for the under-17 men's team race. The under-17 women's team also picked up bronze with Katie Rourke in 14th, Susanna Godfrey Fawcett in 16th and Lindsay Jack finishing 23rd. Meanwhile, more than 250 athletes braved the freeze to compete in the third round of this winter's Borders Cross Country Series at Berwick. Tom Martin from Hunter Bog Trotters broke the tape in the seniors race at Spittle Point, more than a minute in front of runner-up Marcus de Groza from Gala Harriers. Rory Anderson from Teviotdale Harriers finished strongly for third place. Hunter Bog Trotters enjoyed a 1-2-3 in the women's race with Georgia Tindley beating training partners Claire Gordon and Megan Wright to the finishing line. In racing, now jockey Blair Campbell rode gold opera to an 8-1 win in the two-mile handicap chase at air yesterday, providing fight trainer Nick Alexander with the first leg of a treble. 
Gareth Shields-based Katie Scott opened her account when Loch Alsh was the 10 to 1 winner of the second division of the handicap hurdle race in the hands of Jebra jockey Callum Bewley. And Northumberland trainer Pauline Robson won the concluding bumper with the 11 to 1 chance Silver Bullion. That's the news in sport. Christopher Blanchett has the border's weather. A cloudy, wet and breezy evening to come as the weather front sweeps in from the Atlantic. This also heralds much milder air. And whilst the rain will slowly die out after midnight, we're left with cloudy and very mild weather. So by dawn, temperatures around plus 10 Celsius and a moderate to fresh southwesterly. Wednesday, a cloudy start, once again windy and also mild. The southwest winds deliver a few showery outbreaks of rain through the day and it will be mild for all with afternoon highs of 13 to 15 Celsius. BBC Radio Scotland weather for the borders. And that's it for the moment. I'll be back with our next bulletin of borders news. That will be at half past five. News Drive on BBC the Radio Scotland. Now, as we've been hearing, Scottish school children have recorded their worst ever performance in a respected global survey of academic performance.